Here is our second tutorial. In our second tutorial, we're going to find coterminal angles. If you flip to where we left off in our last tutorial, you may have noticed something interesting between this graph and this graph. Because if you look at these two graphs, if you, if you take away the labels at least, these two graphs are exactly the same angle. They look exactly the same. This one right here, right in the middle of the fourth quadrant. This one right here in the middle of the fourth quadrant. It's just that this one opened in the positive direction to get there, and this one took the shorter route and opened in the negative direction. But these two terminal sides are exactly in the same location, and that's why we call them co-terminal angles. The prefix co meaning with or share. These are co-terminal because the terminal side is being shared. It, it, it just depends on which direction we, we took to get there. Okay, So we're going to be exploring co-terminal angles. Co-terminal angles share the same terminal side. And it's real simple to, to, to figure this out. If we go back to these angles, the distance, or the, the, the either in degrees, if we, if we wanted to go all the way around and get onto this terminal side again, we're going exactly 360 degrees. It doesn't really matter if we're subtracting 360 degrees or adding 360 degrees. We're going to end up on the same spot. Or over here, we could either add 2 pi or in this case, 8 fourths pi would make sense since we're dealing with fourths. Um, we could add 2 pi or we could subtract 2 pi. And that's really all we need to do to understand coterminal angles. So how I'm going to ask you in this is I'm going to ask you to find one positive coterminal angle and one negative coterminal angle to the given one. So we've got 700 degrees. That's a pretty big angle. There are infinite angles that are coterminal. I could keep adding 360 degrees to this all day and keep getting a, a bunch of different coterminal angles. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to subtract 360 degrees because I know that I eventually need one negative one. So I'm going to start subtracting so that I could eventually get to a negative. But ultimately, we're just either adding or subtracting 360 degrees. That, that's what we're doing to find a coterminal angle. So in this case, let's subtract 360 degrees. And in this case, we'd get 340 degrees. Okay, so that's another angle that's coterminal to 700 degrees. Obviously, we're not to negative land yet, so let's subtract again. Another 360 degrees we will subtract, and this time we're going to get to negative 20 degrees. Aha, we do have now a negative angle. I could continue to subtract 360 degrees uh, 10 more times if I wanted to, but that would eventually be annoying to me because I'd have to check your work. So what I'd prefer that you do is take the two angles angles that surround zero degrees, meaning the very first positive angle and the very first negative angle that would be coterminal. I would like for those to be your two answers. So 340 degrees is the first positive one, and negative 20 degrees is the first negative one. I'd like for those to be the answer. I know there are infinite answers, but if we can all be consistent and do it the same way, then that would be um, you know, easier for me to assess. But there are infinite answers, and that's fine. Please do not use the one that's given as one of your answers. Obviously, this is a positive angle, but technically, I guess it's not really coterminal to itself. So please don't use that. So if you subtract 360 degrees once, and you're already into negatives, well, then you have your negative. Just add 360 degrees to get to the next positive one. Don't use your problem as one of your answers. If we're talking about radians, yeah, sure, we're adding 360 degrees, but we're not going to re really be talking degrees. We're going to be adding or subtracting 2 pi. Now, there's a bunch of different versions of 2 pi, especially when we're dealing with fractions. We need to understand that when we're adding or subtracting, we need the common denominator. So 2 pi could be written as 4 pi over 2, or 6 pi over 3, or 8 pi over 4, or 10 pi over 5, anything with the fraction reducing to 2. So since I'm dealing with 21 pi over 4, I think that it would be intelligent to use 8 pi over 4 as my version of 2 pi because 8 pi over 4 reduces, of course, to 2 pi. And then they have the same denominator. So if I subtract here 21 pi over 4, take away 8 pi over 4, I've got 13 pi over 4. 
So there's a coterminal angle. Let's keep going because I eventually need to get to a negative one. So I'm going to subtract 8 pi over 4 again. And now 13 pi over 4 minus 8 pi over 4 is now 5 pi over 4. Okay, another positive one. We're still not to negative, so I'm going to subtract one more time. I'm subtracting 8 pi over 4 again, and this time I'm going to get to negative 3 pi over 4. Okay, so there's our first negative angle, so I'm going to use that one. And technically I have two different positive ones that I could use, but like I said, I'm going to use the one that is the one that surrounds 0 degrees, or 0 pi in this case. So I'm using 5 pi over 4 and I'm using negative 3 pi over 4. Those would be my two answers to this problem. I do want to show you, if I ask you to find all coterminal angles, first of all, I'm not going to make you sit here forever and list all infinite ones. What we need to do is understand that we need to, some sort of variable to, to show this. If I've got beta is 120 degrees, and I want to find all coterminal angles, I need to understand that, well, first of all, we're with degrees, so I'm going to be using the 360 degrees. I can add a multiple of 360 degrees, and in order for me to do that, I use the variable k. k is simply representing an integer. So what that means is, if k is a 0, then 360 degrees times 0 goes away, and I'm left with the original angle. If k is a 1, then we're adding 360 degrees to our original, and we'll get 480 degrees, our next one. If k is a 5, then we're adding 5 more. We're, we're wrapping around 5 more times, and we'll get to the, the fifth coterminal angle, at least in the positive. If k is a negative 1, well, then we'd be subtracting 360 degrees. So this is an expression that ultimately represents all coterminal angles. All we needed to do was just put in a multiple of 360 degrees. I use k for that. And we're going to be using this idea uh, plenty times this chapter. So there's the idea for coterminal angles, and we'll practice that in class. Thanks for watching.